Hi, welcome to my channel as I share with you how to use tarot cards for journaling purposes. Grab your journal, make some notes so after the video that you can journal on your own. Uh, the deck that I'm using is Curious Creatures by Chris Ann and I pre-pulled cards just for the speed of this purposes and the reading today is about lovers so about relationships with a new moon in scorpio it is a water energy which is emotional energy but it feels like that fire energy a little bit of spice so you may be having challenges with how you communicate with one another a little bit of intense chaos so let's dive in i always take the bottom card for an overall theme i did pre-pull the lovers card the cards before that is current energy that you want to discuss or journal and the cards after are your relationship energy. So the theme for the reading is Page of Swords. Page of Swords energy is all about feeling a little bit restless. So some great November energy. I pre-pulled the Lover's card. Again, I pulled cards to unpack what you're feeling. So I have the King of Cups, the Hangman, Strength, and Chariot. I'd probably journal about what addictive traits that you may have in relationships, especially with the restless energy. Does calm energy in your relationships make you want to run? So explore what type of addictive traits you may have when you are in relationships. We have the hangman. Okay, what kind of shifts do you feel like you need to make in your relationship? Do you have to look at your relationship with a new perspective? Or you do you need to surrender to something? Again, if you do have addictive traits that you bring to relationships, maybe you have to shift how you are feeling. Again, we do have that restless energy, so do you get bored easily? We have the strength card, so the courage to face yourself and how you act in relationships. And then finally, the chariot, all about movement. How can you integrate changes that you're making in yourself towards how you want to shift your relationship? Again, this is all your energy. Then we had the lover's card. And then we look at going forward. We have the fool, two of wands, ace of wands, and temperance. Fool is all about new beginnings, trust in life. So whatever you are setting your intentions for, for this new moon in your relationships, trust that it will happen. You're taking a leap of faith. You have Two of Wands energy, which is a creative energy, and Ace of Wands. Two of Wands is you're looking at your life. She's holding the key here. You do hold the key to your own life. So what do you want to create? What intentions do you want to set this new moon along with the Ace of Wands, which is that creative spark? So going forward in your relationships, what do you want it to look like? Are you ready to make new beginnings? And then finally, you have the Temperance. And the temperance energy, <clears throat> excuse me, is all about balance, stability. So in your future relationships or in your current relationship, how are you going to balance yourself? So quick review, your theme, you want to write this down, is restless energy. You have your lover's card. And then you just want to write down these cards on your page. We had the king of cups. You can do a deeper dive yourself, of course. You had the hangman. You had strength. And then you had chariot. I would say this feels like a, just a little bit of shadow work. Doing a little bit of exploration about yourself. What addictive traits do you have in your relationships or do you bring to relationships? What new perspectives do you need to have in your relationships? How can you have the courage to integrate your shadow self into relationships and the chariot? That feeling of movement and integration. So a little bit of shadow work of what you bring to relationships. And then finally, what relationships you want to cultivate in your life. We had the, the Fool, Two of Wands, Ace of Wands, and Temperance. 
Again, this is all about new beginnings. You do have the key to cultivate the life that you want. How creative do you want to make it and ensure that you have balance. Take care. I hope you found this fun. Again, just journal what comes up for you. If you want to do a deeper dive, Chris Ann does have her own website that you can unpack a little bit further. Take care.